There you go. The Twitter users who most effectively nudge President Trump in his mentions get blocked. A rare badge of honor apparently shared by the likes of Stephen King, Chrissy Teigen, and Rosie O'Donnell. Or as comedy writer Bess Kalb tweets, the President of the United States just blocked me on Twitter because I hurt his feelings. But it turns out that's unconstitutional. A federal judge in New York on Wednesday ruled that Trump may not legally block Twitter users because doing so violates their right to free speech under the First Amendment. The ruling by a district judge in Manhattan came in response to a lawsuit filed against Trump and his social media manager, Dan Scavino, in July by the Knight First Amendment Institute at Columbia University and several Twitter users. In their lawsuit, they claimed that by blocking users for their political views, Trump was shutting them out of discussion in a public forum, violating the First Amendment. I lose the opportunity to participate in the conversation. In March, some of them gathered outside the downtown courthouse to trade their stories of being blocked. Trump's Twitter feed is integral to his presidency. It's where he often sets the news of the day or throws it way off course or even announces major policies. So what now? The judge writes, quote, we must assume that the president and Scavino will remedy the blocking we have held to be unconstitutional. The Department of Justice, which represents Trump in the case, said, quote, we respectfully disagree with the court's decision and are considering our next steps.